this, this one. Rather simple. You guys can see there's only one denominator, and that denominator is x. So if I multiply x times everything, I get an x squared plus 12 minus 8x equals 0. Now the important thing, guys, is I want you to remember when you're trying to solve quadratic equations, um, this one comes up quite a bit. Remember, you've got to set your quadratic equation equal to 0, right? I mean, set like set. Now, fortunately, this one's good, but we want to make sure we have this in standard form. So x squared minus 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. Now I just got to think, you know, like, how do I solve quadratics? Well, I could factor, I could complete the square, or I could use the quadratic formula. First, I'm going to try factoring, and I can see that this is indeed factorable. That's not it. <laughs> 6 and 2, thank you. So therefore, I have x minus 6 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, x is equal to 6, and x is equal to 2. Now, again, we want to go back and check to make sure we don't have an extraneous solution. And you can see that both these solutions are good. Right? So not just because you always have two solutions doesn't mean one of them is always going to be extraneous. Okay? You really do have to 